This video is about creating a survey or poll using Excel Online. Excel Online makes creating a survey or poll quick and easy. There are five basic steps to this. We will open the OneDrive for Business. We will open Excel Online Survey Program. Then we'll create our questions and answers. We simply send a link about our survey to the people we want to answer it. Answers are automatically entered and you can check them at any time. Note, once a link is sent, that link can be used by anybody and they could answer the survey or poll more than once. Now we'll need to navigate to our OneDrive for Business website. You will see a button called New on the screen and underneath that will be the Excel Survey Tool. We'll give our survey a simple name and it will automatically save this survey as we are using Excel Online. The next thing we'll see is a form in which we can enter our, our survey questions. We simply type the question into the box provided and then below we can decide what kind of survey item answer we will look for, whether it's text or a number, a date, a simple yes and no answer. In this case we'll choose yes or no and we'll make it required. This way that question has to be answered by every survey participant. We can continue adding in extra questions until we're finished. If we make a choice they'll provide us with a few empty answers and we'll simply overtype these answers to our desired options. Now we're ready to share our survey. When we click share it will create a URL for us. Because it's Excel Online it will automatically be saved. We select the URL and then we can paste it into our email and then we can close this. Now let's look at the survey questions that we've already collected. Here's a tip. Rather than pasting a long unwieldy URL into the email, simply create a word and then go to the hyperlink tool and paste in that long URL and when you hit OK it will make a really simple link for the reader to click on. At this point you'll be able to navigate to your OneDrive for Business and locate the survey that you've created. By clicking on it it will load up all the responses that have been received to date. Now you're able to create charts, graphs, and tables to enrich your learning, classroom, and administrative experiences.